Welcome back to the Bible Says What? Today I will summarize 1 Kings chapter 7, where Solomon built five other structures for himself. He built his own house, a vacation house called the House of the Forest of Lebanon, the House of Pillars, the House of the Throne, and a home where Pharaoh's daughter would live. Solomon also sent for King Hiram because he was a great bronze worker. Solomon spent 13 years building his own house. The five structures he built were similar in style to the temple. He built all of them with costly stones that were cut with saws all the way around, not just on two sides like what would normally happen. When he was finished building, Solomon had King Hiram come from Tyre. Hiram's father worked with bronze and taught him many things. Hiram could do any kind of artistic or structural work in bronze. Solomon told Hiram, I want you to do much work in the temple and on my other buildings. Hiram agreed. So Hiram got to work. He built two pillars of bronze and made decorations for them. He named the right pillar Jachin, and the left one he named Boaz. He made a large bowl called the sea with cast metal, and he made twelve bronze oxen to put the bowl on top of. He made ten stands of bronze and carved lions, oxen, and cherubim into the stands. He made them portable and put chariot wheels on them. Hiram then made basins and shovels and bowls, and then finished his work. Hiram made so many bronze articles that Solomon didn't even consider weighing or counting them because they were too heavy and too many. Solomon then had other people making things out of gold for the temple. He made all the furniture, the golden altar, and the golden table where something called the Bread of the Presence was kept. He made ten lampstands out of pure gold. He made cups and bowls and spoons and fire pans of pure gold. He made hinges for the doors with pure gold. Then everything was finally done. Solomon finished the temple and all of its furnishings, and all of his other homes as well and then brought all the items that were set apart and dedicated to the Lord into the temple. The most important verse in this chapter is 1 Kings 7 verse 51, which states, So was ended all the work that King Solomon made for the house of the Lord. And Solomon brought in the things which David his father had dedicated, even the silver and the gold and the vessels, did he put among the treasures of the house of the Lord. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is just how the gold and the bronze articles of the temple and the other building structures were made. And God wants us to see that Solomon spent 13 years building his own personal residence, which was approximately double the time spent on the temple. Are you spending more time on your own personal interests than on God's interests? Perhaps you aren't even born again yet. Perhaps today is the day that that will happen. Why don't you turn from your sin right now and repent? Why don't you place your faith in Jesus Christ for salvation today? Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus conquered hell and death, and His return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you place your faith in Jesus right now? Thanks for watching the First Kings chapter 7 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.